Some would call it a debacle. Some would call it a great victory of the Texas school board last week in deciding to replace Thomas Jefferson with with John Calvin in school books, in civics textbooks, and strip the word democracy and democratic out of the textbooks in describing the United States form of government because it sounds too much like the Democratic Party and replace it with Republic, which sounds more like the Republican Party. Um, there's the, also a concern about homeschooling. And I have I arguably some skin in this game. We homeschooled one of our three children. Uh, I'm, so I'm, I'm, I have some familiarity uh, in passing with the topic. And we're going to get a couple of perspectives on this. Uh, first, Michael J. McHugh is with us. He's the director of marketing at homeschools.org, which is the Christian edu- uh, the, uh, also known as the Christian Educator, homeschools.org, of course, the website. Uh, Michael, welcome to the program. Thank you very much, Tom. The, the uh, literature here that, that, we're, that we're finding increasingly says that the, uh, for example, uh, there's... No, no, no! I've now I've gone and lost it. <laughs> there, there it is. Oh, here it is, right here. Uh, Bob Jones University is providing biology textbooks to homeschool kids. I'm, and these may be quite different from what you're doing, but uh, I, I wanted to get your take on it. Uh, biology third edition. It starts out with a preface that says, those who do not believe that the Bible is the inspired, inerrant word of God may find many points in this book puzzling. This book was not written for them. A Christian worldview is the only correct view of reality. Anyone who rejects it will not only reach, not will not only fail to reach heaven, but also fail to see the world as it truly is. And then they go on to say that evolution uh, does not exist or, you know, functionally, at least with regard to people. And uh, other things that scientists are suggesting are causing our kids to fall terribly behind in, in areas of science. Is it child abuse to homeschool your child with books from Bob Jones University or with Christian curriculum that denies science? Well, of course, the question you're asking there, Tom, presupposes that Bob Jones University and other similar organizations are about the business of denying real science. Of course, that's not true at all. I'm I'm well acquainted with Bob Jones University press materials, and they do approach, I think, in a very scholarly manner, the subject of uh, origins as well as scientific uh, exploration at large. And uh, they're no more interested in in bringing us back into a new dark age than secular scientists. What, What Bob Jones, I think, is trying to say there, Tom, is the fact that there's no such thing as a brute neutral fact, whether we're talking about history or science or anything else in life. Everyone has an agenda. Everyone brings to the table preconceptions based on their particular worldview. And all Bob Jones is basically saying is, in a free society, people should be able to choose which worldview, which, uh, uh, you know, suits them, and then fit the facts and information that they receive daily from the newspapers or from school or from wherever it is to uh, fit into their particular worldview that they're most comfortable with. Well, Michael, Michael McHugh, I absolutely agree with you if we're talking about consenting adults. People should have the choice of watching Fox News or, you know, MSNBC or Free Speech. TV. I mean, it's, it's, it, for example, but we're talking about children, and and we're talking about forming those worldviews rather than offering people a choice of them. Um, I'm 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 wondering if, you know, for example, d- do you think the world is seven thousand years old? Uh, give or take, uh, but I would say this, Tom. So you don't, you don't, you don't, you 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 would well, refute no, no, I, no, the no, idea. I'm a Christian. I, I believe that if you're going to be a Christian, you need to endeavor to be consistent to the values and beliefs of the Bible. And so I conform my beliefs to what the Word of God says because I do believe that that is authoritative in terms of reality. Uh, get, yes, that is my commitment. But Tom, do you honestly think? that children, let's talk about children for a moment, are you sitting there today telling me that children are not bombarded uh, with a secular evolutionary perspective on public television, public uh, television movies, public libraries, popular magazines, children of all walks of life, Christian or not Christian, are bombarded with one side of the story. What's so wrong with children getting an opportunity to, to look at alternative perspectives? Well, I'm talking about science here. Well, and, exactly. and 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 exactly. you know the United States is falling behind in terms of science uh, from other countries around the world, and this is this is a real problem. And and if and if you're going to be teaching kids that the world is six thousand years old, and that and the people coexisted with dinosaurs, when all of the scientific evidence 
belies that and says that that's not a fact, that's a belief, I don't see how you can present that as science. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure where you're getting your so-called facts, Tom, but I would take strong issue with them as well. You know, it, again, you, you, there is nothing neutral about that. What science. evidence do you have other than, well, other than an 1800? Now, keep in mind, I'm, I'm assuming you realize that it was, I believe, in the 1880s, maybe the 1870s, that I'm forgetting the guy's name, who, who did the calculation from, from biblical text that the world was 6,000 years old. If you'd asked, if you'd asked St. Tom, Thomas Aquinas, he would not have told you that the world was 6,000 years old. This, this is a relatively new thing in modern Christian theology. Um, and, and by the way, Tom, there are scads of people that are Bible-believing Christians that do not necessarily demand that somebody adhere to a 7,000-year-old to a perspective. In your opening remark, that people like me, for example, that do happen to hold to essentially that model, uh, are somehow damning everybody else that doesn't believe that to hell is is ludicrous, Tom. Let me just say that. Well, no, Bob, Bob, actually, it was Bob Jones University that threatened well, they, that, that people who, who studied real science would be damned to hell. Yeah, they uh, don't believe that. Well, that, that, that's what it says in the textbook. But, but, uh, you, have you read them? I've read them. It I know says, I am, I am quoting from A History of Life. This is published by Bob Jones University, and they say, a Christian worldview is the only correct... This is their science chapter. A Christian worldview is the only correct view of reality. Anyone who rejects it will not only fail to reach heaven, but also fail to see the world as it truly is. Well, you're taking one paragraph out of context. Let me tell you that, because I know the textbooks. I've taught them. You haven't. Well, no, I haven't, although I have homeschooled a child, and I, and I have written well, seven then, books on then education. You should, I've been you should, you in should know that most homeschoolers don't use... Even those that are coming from essentially a Christian worldview, they use a variety of textbooks, including those that contain evolutionary thought. My own children, for example, are constantly taking out videos and other uh, nature stories and information from the public library that have quite a bit of evolution in them. Am I troubled by that? No, because I'm, I'm, I'm not insecure in my beliefs. And I can tell you from experience that that is very typical of your most average homeschooler, including those that are coming from a Christian perspective. I'm not afraid of alternative theories, nor should others be. And that's but how can a child who, who hits college because they've been homeschooled, and, and I know many homeschooling parents, I knew many homeschooling parents when we were homeschooling, for 18 years we didn't have a television in our house. And, and, and we were secular homeschoolers, by the way. And uh, we, we just chose not to want to have that influence in our children's lives. And, 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 and it wasn't about Theology. It was just, you know, I, I think the television, in many ways, at least modern commercial television, is is a corrosive force to childhood, to to, to growing up. But so well, I would disagree does, with you there, by the way. Yeah, I know. And, but but I, I, the question is, and we just have a minute left here, sir. Um, the question is, how does an 18-year-old who just graduated from homeschool and believes that the world is 6,000 years old and wants to go to college and study science, how are they possibly going to compete in a world? Where, you know, if they're going to go well, into any of the hard sciences like geology, um, where all of the, virtually all of the science well, uh, says, sorry, you're, everything you know is wrong. Well, you, you've undoubtedly heard of men like uh, Sir Isaac Newton, Johannes Kepler. Uh, I've read both. The Boyle and so forth, men who are leaders in the field of science who brought well, hundreds of West, years ago, who yeah. brought the Western world to the greatest scientific peak of any civilization in the face of the earth. Guess what? They were Bible-believing Christians who believed in the young Earth. It, the, the notion that well, sort of. I mean, you know, Newton almost went to prison disorder. for his, for no, his no, scientific not beliefs. Not to worry, Tom. Young Christian people are going out making a difference. They love science. They love nature and exploration. Okay, and Michael McHugh, homeschools.org is the website. You can read all about it there. Michael, thank you for being here.